then I think it's fair to say that we shall probably not be seeing Tommy Robinson in public for the foreseeable future. He was arrested yesterday near Dover by the Kent Police under Schedule 7 of the 2000 Terrorism Act. In the description to this video I give a link to this uh, part of a dreadful piece of legislation about which few people seem to know. It was one of those illiberal laws brought in by Tony Blair's first administration at a time when he wanted to introduce identity cards and detention without trial. You know, dismantling Magna Carta and so on. Section, uh, I should, should more correctly say Schedule 7 of the 2000 Terrorism Act is used only at ports and points of entry in and out of Britain. The police can stop anybody they please and hold them for six hours, requiring them to provide the passwords necessary to unlock their mobile phones so that the police can have a browse and see what they've been up to look at what internet sites they've been on, that kind of thing. The legal situation is plain, and I quote, If a person is being examined, they can be required to provide any information requested, including passwords and pins, to any electronic devices. They will commit an offence if they willfully fail to comply with this requirement. Now this law was passed 10 years before there were even such things as smartphones and at a time when not everyone had mobiles. These days of course a person's mobile telephone is a very intimate object and even husbands and wives respect the privacy of their partner's mobile. I wouldn't dream of looking through my wife's phone. I need hardly say that Tommy Robinson refused to provide the police with the password for his mobile and by so refusing, he was immediately guilty of a criminal offence under the 2000 Terrorism Act, or so the police say. That's what he's been charged with. This will, of course, enable idiots like the Hope Not Hate mob to claim that he is a suspected terrorist, which is, of course, completely mad. By an uncanny coincidence, Hope Not Hate had complained to the police about 24 hours earlier, before that arrest, because of, of the screening of the film which has caused Tommy Robinson so much trouble and led to his appearing before the High Court this morning. It was therefore perhaps not a coincidence that he was stopped by the police in Kent. His mobile has been confiscated, which is obviously going to cause him great difficulties, and make it hard to communicate with the world via Twitter. But no doubt that was the intention. When he appears before the High Court this morning, it's almost certain that he will be sent to prison for contempt of court, because the, he was already due to appear there before Saturday, uh, relating to this film. Uh, screening it at Trafalgar Square might possibly have clinched the matter and made it certain that he'll be found in contempt, but we shall see. Behind both the film, his conviction for, uh, not a conviction rather, um, his find, the finding that he was guilty of libeling a young Syrian schoolboy, contempt proceedings, up all result of action by the Hope Not Hate organisation. There are a bunch of mischievous cranks and at the bottom of an awful lot of uh, annoying things and so this afternoon I'll release a video about them.